got the inside scoop on Elizabeth Montgomery, the woman with the twitchy nose. And not just her, very many other memorable women in his new book, Glamour Gidgets and the Girl Next Door, with iconic women from TV in 1950s, 60s, and 70s. And he is here, Herbie J, with our very own Valerie Milano next on CCN Sunrise Entertainment segment. Valerie Milano here with the Entertainment Report. We have Herbie J. Pilato. He's written so many books on so many wonderful women, but we're gonna talk about Bewitched right, right now. Sure. So tell me, what was so special about Elizabeth Montgomery? Well, Bewitched, you know, came at a time when in the 1960s there was a lot of race riding in Vietnam, you know, a lot of trouble, and we were all looking for a, a magic escape, and certainly like we're looking for today, and it's 50 years, you know, this TV season that it's been on. And Elizabeth Montgomery, she was just such a special person. Her parents were, you know, uh, Robert Montgomery, established uh, movie star, and her mom was Elizabeth Allen, a Broadway actress, very prestigious. But she was so down to earth, and you would not have known that, you know, coming from such, uh, such, a, uh, such a background. And she brought that down to earth personality to Samantha, and everybody loved her because she was so down to earth. And what you saw on, on screen was Elizabeth Montgomery, was, so she was Samantha. And how did you meet her? I met her because I wrote a reunion movie for Bewitched in um, like 1988 and she didn't want to do that and I said well how about we do a book about the show and then when I interviewed her for a book about the show I realized there was so much about her life as a person very charitable uh, she donated a, a much money time and, and, and effort to many charitable organizations like um, the peace movement uh, the disability community um, she was one of the first celebrities to um, offer her support for those suffering from AIDS, along with Elizabeth Taylor at the time. So anyway, there was so much about her life that I knew I had to explore in biographies. And, and that's essentially what I did with Twitch Upon a Star, uh, which was the first book, and then The Essential Elizabeth Montgomery, which is like an index um, to all of her work. And then later on when I just uh, felt that I wanted to explore all the women from the 50s, 60s, and 70s, you know, that girl and... Wonder Woman, Linda Carter, God bless her, and Lindsay Wagner, the Bionic Woman, Sally Field. Um, all, all of these women had their own special spark that Elizabeth had as well, so I thought it covered all with, with get, uh, Glamour and Gidgets and the Girl Next Door. Well, I want to talk a little bit about, so many books. <laughs> about Darren, her oh, husband. Yes. I know there was two Darrens yes. in, in her life. Yes. Uh, so, Samantha. How did she interact, and who was her favorite? Well, I, I, I said it like Samantha. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dick York was the first Darren, and Dick Sargent was the second Darren. Dick York was kind of in love with Elizabeth, like we all were, who wasn't? And that made her feel a little bit uncomfortable, although the chemistry was very strong with them. Dick Sargent, the second Darren, uh, she was more comfortable with. He happened to be gay, so he wasn't so much, she felt he wasn't so much of a threat. And they ended up becoming very close friends. But there's this big debate, you know, who's, who's the best Darren of the two Darrens? And they're really very different interpretations, and they were actually both wonderful people. I happened to, to have the, uh, the honor to meet along with Elizabeth. Oh, wonderful. Well, how much was Elizabeth like Samantha? Oh, she was just, she was, she, she used to like unicorns and Samantha liked unicorns. Uh, she, Elizabeth never really had pizza delivered to her home in Beverly Hills. It was just not the thing to do in that <laughs> right. household. But on the set of, of The Witch, they were having pizza all the time with the, the set and the crew. And she loved to revel in those regular life things. And I think that's one of the things that she appreciated about me, is that I never asked her for an autograph, I never asked her to twitch her nose, yeah. never asked right. for a picture. She, she respected that I respected her as a person. And, and that was, that's how we bonded in, in a very, very interesting way. But it's like I had already known her because I'd watched the show for so many years. You said you never ever twitched your nose with her? Is that what you I, said? I never asked her to twitch her nose because <laughs> everybody did that, you know? So how does that work? How does I know that Mary just mentioned it? Yeah. What, well, it's actually the, the, the mouth, the upper lip. You move your oh. upper lip. It's very hard to move your nose and you go... You, know, like you did it very well. I've been practicing. Yeah, years. you've been 50 practicing years. for a long time. So, <laughs> um, tell us about any other roles that Elizabeth had done before yes. and after. Oh Bewitched. man, she did over 500 TV appearances and 200 actually before Bewitched. Um, she did, you know, Twilight Zone, Alfred Hitchcock Presents, um, 77 Sunset Strip. And then also, after Bewitched, she wanted to create um, a different venue for herself. And she wanted to show that she could do things beyond comedy. 
and did a case, a case of Rape, which was one of the first issue-oriented TV movies of all time, and then The Legend of Lizzie Borden, which was recently ma uh, remade on Lifetime. All right. Well, I love it, and I'm, and I'm really, really glad that you are here with us, Herbie J. Pilato. Thank you so and, much. Uh, we look forward to reading your books, and how can we find out where they are? Oh, Amazon.com, Amazon, right. BarnesandNoble.com. You can go to my blogspot, HerbieJPilato.blogspot.com. Uh, all over, wherever quality books are sold. Well, just to, to end, I just want to thank you again, and um, hopefully we'll see you back and Should talk about more off? books. Yeah, let's pop up. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And then we're going to pop Mary and Joseph back in. So Great. thank you very much again, thank and uh, back to you. Thank you, Valerie. And up next, we have Chef Julie Allen here making strawberry cream pie, and she is here with her store, 5,000 Pies. <laughs>